Hello and welcome to another Hive Hug video. Uh, with me this time, Bob. Just before we get started, I'm really excited to be doing this activity in collaboration with the Hive in Shrewsbury. Just to let you all know, the Hive is a charity organisation running wellbeing projects across Shropshire, Telford and the Reeking. Find out more about uh, their work possibly donate online at www.hive.org.uk. Thank you. Brilliant. Okay, here we go. So today we're going to play percussion. There it is. With some household objects. Okay, so uh, if you all can have a look around the house, then hopefully you'll be able to find a few of these things in which then we can make a percussion drum such as a bongo, a congo, or a djembe. Okay, so if we can find a plant pot, or maybe a ice cream tub could be useful. Some tape, a pen, and a pair of scissors. Once you have all that, we are rocking it. So push it off the table. Okay, once we've cleared the space, we are ready to make our drum. How exciting. Number one, let's get the plant pot. Okay, so if you uh, notice a drum, there's a top end, which is usually a skin, to be on and a bottom end where the sound travels out of. Generally the bottom end is a little bit smaller than the top end just because it helps with the tone and uh, amplifies the music a little bit more. If anything is obstructing either end, remove before continuing. Once removed, turn the pot over to the larger end and we can get ready to start skinning the drum. I found this tape, although it was the prettiest, uh, it was a bit too thick, so the tone was a bit too low. So I went for a bit thinner, like parcel tape, maybe cellar tape would be good as well. Um, although duct tape does still give a, a nice low tone. So once we have it, we need to stick it uh, tightly over the top of our pot, uh, making sure it covers up the whole area. It's already starting to look like the top of a drum. There you go, a little bit tighter. Still making sure there's not many creases. And trying to smooth them out as much as possible. After covered, it's a bit messy, but we can tidy that up in no time at all. Okay, and with the magic of television, we have made two now. Ta-da! Well done, Bob. Okay, so if you've noticed with the other one, I've put some tape around the edge, partly to tidy it up and partly to reinforce the skin on the top. Uh, this is so when we're playing it, it uh, doesn't get looser and we can have more fun for longer. Um, so you can do the same with this pot. Uh, it's good to do a few layers, um, again just for reinforcement, but also making sure it stays flush with the top of your drum. This is so when striking it, you still get good contact with the top of the drum. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our drum skins. If you could just draw a, a couple of circles on the top. This kind of creates a, in an inner and outer zone of the drum. The inner being lower. Um, dum, 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 see? And the outer being higher. Um, the outer is what's called a rim shot. So there you go. So the drums are ready. Okay, now with some TV magic. <laughs> We have made some beautiful looking drums, look at that, with all the stuff you saw. So, yep, accessorize, uh, paint some nice designs on the outside, put some other colored tape, and just kind of made it look funky. So, you know, that is all up to you, my good friends. Okay, so now we have some drums. There you go. We've got a little percussion group there. We are ready to be rocking. Um, so each one's a slightly different tone. I made an extra smaller one, just for kicks. So, if you can have a look around the house and find some pencils or pens or something that would resemble some drumsticks, uh, we find it just gets a bit of a louder tone for your uh, drum. Um, so you can just rock that a little bit harder and just annoy those neighbours just a little bit more. But also, yeah, it's good fun. Okay, so now I'm going to teach you a quick drum lick on, the, on your new percussion. So, if you get your sticks in hand, um, we're going to show you something called phonetic drumming, where we play the syllables of words. 
So, uh, for now, let's try a word just for an example. Uh, sandwich. Okay, so that is two syllables in the word sandwich. Okay, so that's two hits on the drums. Okay, so sandwich. There is sandwich. Let's try it, everyone. One, two, three, four. Sandwich. Sandwich. Okay, you did it. Well done, everyone. Okay. Next word is four syllables. So peanut butter. Okay, so let's try two in the center, two on the outer. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, so to recap, it is sandwich, peanut butter. Sandwich, peanut butter. Let's give it a go. One, two, three, four. Sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich, everybody. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter. Okay, so let's try it a bit quicker. One, two, three, four. Sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter sandwich. Peanut butter. Amazing! And always good to end it on a drum solo. Well done, everyone. Very proud of you. Also, if you have a look around the house, one more thing, you might find some salt. Or something else that makes a nice shaky sound. This can add to percussion, and you can expand on your drum kit. Anyway, guys, that's enough from me. Stay safe, and I hope you're enjoying the hive hug. Bye!